calorie restriction, or more specifically the reduction of caloric intake by 20-40% to 40 compared to ad libitum feeding, has shown diverse efficacy and reproducibility in its anti-aging action. The question is how? How does reducing your caloric consumption allow you to live longer? While many mechanisms have been proposed and advanced over the years to explain calorie restrictions anti-aging action, one favoured hypothesis that has been consistently reproducible is its antioxidative action. This mechanism is also in line with the oxidative stress hypothesis of aging. You may be wondering now, what's this oxidative stress hypothesis of aging? Well, it is the major hypothesis for why people age. That aging is in fact resultant of the accumulation of macromolecules damaged by reactive oxygen species ROS, and that the major contributor of this oxidative stress is the mitochondria. It has been proposed that calorie restriction can promote lifespan by reducing the production of ROS and promoting the function of antioxidants that can repair oxidative damage. But how? In many studies, it has been shown that calorie restriction promotes the function of antioxidants in part through sirtuins. In Saccharomyces cerevisiae and Drosophila melanogaster, calorie restriction extends lifespan by increasing the activity of the SIR2 protein. However, mammals don't possess SIR2. Instead, there are seven mammalian homologs of SIR2, termed SIR1-7, that share sequence homology to the catalytic domain of SIR2. In particular, calorie restriction has been shown to increase SIR3 expression. SIR3 is a mitochondrial deacetylase that has been shown to promote the antioxidant activity of a major mitochondrial antioxidant enzyme, superoxide dismutase 2. This is achieved through the deacetylation of two critical lysine residues on superoxide dismutase 2 which enhances its ability to reduce cellular ROS. Another hypothesis for calorie restriction's anti-aging action that has garnered substantial evidence is its ability to promote mitochondrial biogenesis. But wait a minute! If mitochondria are a major contributor of oxidative stress, how can it be beneficial to increase mitochondrial numbers? One explanation is that the increase in mitochondrial proliferation decreases the number of electrons stalling in the electron transport chain. Electrons stall in the electron transport chain when their rate of entry exceeds their rate of transit. By increasing the number of low potential mitochondria, mitochondria are able to simultaneously process a large number of electrons while maintaining lower ROS production by preventing electron stalling.